All right, let's show that not P or Q is, a, is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. And we'll show this using truth tables. So we'll call this the left-hand side. And we'll call this the right-hand side. We'll make a truth table for the left-hand side. So we have the P statement and the Q statement. P by convention is T, T, F, F. And Q is T, F, T, F. Now, the first thing we can do is what's inside of the grouping symbols. So P or Q, if you recall, the or is false only when everything is false. So looking at our two columns, the P and the Q, we have two falses in the fourth row. So here our OR is false, otherwise true. And now what we'll do is negate that column. So we negate the previous column. So we just look at T's and turn them to F's. And we look at the F and turn it to a T. Now we're done with the left-hand side right here in this column. Now let's take a look at the right-hand side. The right-hand side requires a not P as well as not Q. So we'll first negate P, then negate Q, then we will AND those results. Looking back at P, we have T, T, F, F. So to negate that, we flip the T's to F and the F's to T's. And not Q, we turn the Q column from TF, TF to F, T, F, T. And now what we can do in the right hand side is and these two results. So we'll have not P and not Q. Not P and not Q. And if you recall, is uh, true only if all components are true. So two trues are what we're looking for. We have two trues in the fourth line. Otherwise, false. Now we're done with the second side, or what we call the right-hand side. And now what we see is that the left-hand side result and the right-hand side result are the exact same truth table results. Because the truth table results match, then we say that these are logically equivalent statements. because the truth table results are the same.
All right, let's show that the negation of P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. First, we'll look at the left-hand side. By first anding the P and Q and then negating. Using a truth table, then we have our setup columns T, T, F, F for P, T, F, T, F for Q. First, we can and the P and the Q. The rule for and is ands are true if all components are true. All components are true on the first line, otherwise not. And then we'll negate the results of the and column. So negating the previous column yields F, T, T, T. And this column is our left-hand side. In the right-hand side, what we can do is first negate P, then negate Q, and then we can OR them. So not P and a not Q column. Looking at P, we negate the column by turning the T's to F's and the F's to T's. And to negate Q, we look at the Q column. We turn the T's to F's, the F's to T's. Now we've negated P, we've negated Q, and we can OR them. So not P or not Q yields, well, let's remind ourselves that in an OR, we get a false only if both components are false. If all components are false, like in line one, then we have false, otherwise we have true. This is the result for the right hand side. Now you can see that the truth table results for each statement is the same. F T T T. Because the truth table results match, we can, can conclude that not P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. These two statements are logically equivalent. Notice that in the first example and the second example, where we showed logical equivalence between these two statements and between these two statements, these are actually the De Morgan's laws for logic. So we've shown how to show equivalency using truth tables, and now you can use
De Morgan's laws to show equivalency because you've seen the truth tables. 